welcome to this session. In this session, we will discuss a question which says that draw a triangle with vertices L whose coordinates are 2 minus 3, M whose coordinates are minus 2, 1 and N whose coordinates are 2, 5 and find the length of the side LM. Now before starting the solution of this question, we should know a result. And that is, if we have a point A with coordinates x, y1 and a point B with coordinates x, y2 where x is fixed and AB forms a vertical line, then length of AB is equal to absolute value of y2 minus y1. Now this result will work out as a key idea for solving out the given question. Now let us start with the solution of the given question. Now here we have to draw a triangle with vertices L, M and N. Now here we have drawn a coordinate plane with horizontal axis as x-axis and vertical axis as y-axis. First of all, let us plot the point M with coordinates 2 minus 3. Now here the x coordinate is positive, y coordinate is negative. It means this point will lie in the fourth quadrant. Now as the x coordinate is positive, so we will start from 0 and we will move 2 units to the right of 0 and then the y coordinate is minus 3 so we will move 3 units downwards and we will reach at this point which is the point L whose coordinates are 2 minus 3. Then the next point which we have to plot is M whose coordinates are minus 2, 1. Now here x coordinate is negative, y coordinate is positive. It means it will lie in the second quadrant. Now here, this is the point M with coordinates minus 2, 1. Then the next point is N with coordinates 2, 5. Now here both x and y coordinates are positive. It means it will lie in the first quadrant. Now here, this is the point N with coordinates 2, 5. So we have got the three points on the coordinate plane. That is the points L, M and N. Now we will join these three points consecutively. That is L, M. MN and ML. Now on joining these three points, we get a triangle which is a polygon with three sides given by LM, MN and NM. Now we have to find length of side LN which is a vertical line now the coordinates of L are 2 minus 3 and the coordinates of N are 2, 5. Now here you can see that the X coordinate of both these points is same. And here the Y coordinate varies. Now using the result which is given in the key idea, we can find the length of a vertical line AB whose x coordinate is fixed by using this formula. Now here also we have to find out the length of a vertical line segment LN whose x coordinate is fixed and y coordinate varies. Now let this be 
y1 and let this be y2. So the length of ln is equal to absolute value of y2 minus y1 which is equal to absolute value of 5 minus of minus 3 which is equal to absolute value of 5 plus 3 which is equal to absolute value of 8 that is equal to 8. Therefore, length of ln is equal to 8 units. So this is the solution of the given question and that's all for this session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.